Arlington Public News is excited to be introducing a new series about adolescence over the coming months. Our topics will be wide-ranging, from bullying and clicks to texting and social media. To help us today is Laura Stamboni, an independent licensed social worker with private practice in Lexington, Massachusetts. Welcome, Laura. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Sure. I guess the first place to go uh, in a discussion about adolescence is to adolescence. Mm -hmm. We probably all have relatively accurate ideas of what, what constitutes adolescence, but, but more particularly, is it a matter of age? Is it a matter of biology? Mm -hmm. Is it a matter of uh, our maturation and thinking? Mm -hmm. What, what from, a, from a licensed social worker, what is adolescence? Professionals have disagreed on what is considered mm. adolescence. Mm -hmm. um, and there's been heated debate about it. <laughs> um, one thing I will say is that the marker of the chronolo chronological age mm -hmm. is not enough to be adolescence. Mm -hmm. It's really the transition after childhood and before adulthood, going into adulthood, mm -hmm. in which there are physical changes and psychological changes mm -hmm. um, that prepare the adolescent uh, to move into adulthood. Right. That's really where I'm coming from on it. So it's, 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 it's primarily moved by psychology as opposed to a child that becomes 10 and therefore is, is now in, a, in this new phase of growth called adolescence. Well, I, I'd say that the biology part, mm -hmm. there is a factor that is accurate in that, mm -hmm. but it really needs to have both the physical and the psychological elements in order for it to be a true adolescence. As adults in the lives of, in, uh, of adolescence, mm -hmm. how do we best uh, temper, perhaps, to, to some certain extent, um, the expectations that we have, perhaps from our childhoods, and how children should behave, mm -hmm. um, and sort of accept this new reality that we find ourselves in? I think it takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it takes a lot of work. Sure. It's something that parents care, parents worry. Mm -hmm. So they take whatever knowledge they have and they've learned or how they were raised and they sometimes say they don't want to turn out like their own parents, but sometimes they do and it's ine inevitable. Mm -hmm. But I think that it really, it really takes a parent reflecting mm -hmm. on how they're approaching their children sure. and taking time to listen to them mm -hmm. in a non-judgmental way. Mm -hmm. Um, and that can be very difficult sure. as a parent, sure. but I think that tempering their expectations um, is something that will help children and adolescents so much because of the fact that one of the si most significant stressors is expectations on adolescents. In what we hope will be an ongoing series on adolescents, uh, we hope you join us again next month for more. Uh, for now, this is Peter Bermudis with Laura Stamboni mm -hmm. for Arlington Public News.